Hello YouTube, I'm doing a um, Skyrim video on console commands and some of the things that can help you like the codes. So I'm gonna load my last save. Uh, 10 I think it is. Yeah. So I'm gonna load that and I'm gonna show you all the things that I can do to help you um, you know uh, get better at the game. Just it's all cheats basically. There we go. So I start up like this. It's me. I'm not using my mouse, I'm using my cursor pad. So it'll be weird. But first I'm just gonna go over here. Hmm, go just go right here. So I'm gonna do this to first stand off in front of this guy to show you what I can do. Alright, so first you're gonna open the tilde key and I'll show you in the description. It's a little squiggly line under the escape key and right above the tab key. It's like a little squiggly and it's got an apostrophe sign below it, like on the actual key. So you're gonna wanna tap that and it's gonna bring this up. So you just tap it and it brings it up and down. So I'm gonna bring it up and you have a bar. You can type crap in like that. So what you're gonna do as soon as it happens is you're gonna type in stuck codes and stuff that'll give you items in the game. So first code I'm gonna use is player dot add item. So what that's gonna do is well first of all you need to add a code and the code will be like a digit number like around that long with maybe even some letters in it and then you're gonna add, put a space and then put the number of what you want in there. So for this example I'm gonna show you the two I know. One is F. F is it's just this plain and simple. And F stands for gold. So you're gonna want to put, let's just say anything you want, 909,000 gold or whatever that is. If you look up in the top right here, it says 909,000 gold added, whatever it is. Next, you're gonna you can press the up button and it'll bring it. It'll bring what you just used up. So you can go backspace and you're gonna want to click. Um, for this one, it's A, and you're gonna do whatever you wanted for that. If you look at the top, that's lockpicks. So you can just be infinite with lockpicks. You can do any number you want, but there's a, there's a um, cap on what you can do, like a limit. So just be careful with that. Next one I'm going to show you is player dot mm, player dot mod av space carry weight because people have a lot of trouble with carry weight. Um, like in not being able to carry, carry as much stuff as you want. So I'm going to set my carry weight to 999. So you, clearly it shows that player.modAV is modding whatever I choose here. So I've chosen carry weight and 999. And what I'm going to do is tap that and it hasn't done anything. So I'm going to exit this, go to tab, open up items, and my, look at my carry weight. It, well, it didn't work because my, I've been screwing around with my carry weight. Well, for a long while and just it kind of glitches up if you do it too much so it should say 999 for you but that's how you do that and you can you can set it to 9000 and stuff like that so next you're gonna and it won't give you recognition of telling you like your carry weight's been set next I'm going to show you play, player dot set level and you're gonna put whatever level you want and if you saw, I was level 89, so I'm going to change it to 90 or 70, no, let's say 100. I want to scrape that level 100. Tap it, um, exit that, go to tab, go up to skills. And if you look, I'm level 100 now. And just to show you that it works, I'll just go click the up button, it just set level. I'll change it to back to 89. Leave, it's still not going to change anything, so you got to refresh it. Go back up to skills, level 89. See? Alright, so next for um, this, I'm going to go player.modav, and you're going to put, let's say, stamina. Nope. So look down here. If you look at my stamina, it's got like millions of numbers. I can make sure I show you. All of that is just like 1 million. 
So I'm going to go player dot mod av. Um, and I'm going to put stamina 9000. Enter it. Now you got to refresh it. Well, it changed it again. You can only change it once, and then once you do it after that, it adds more and more and more stuff to that. So, I know it looks, yeah. But it'll change it. You just have to do it the first time. But, um, now I'm going to do this in my favorite glitch because you can do anything with it. Well, first of all, before that, I'll show you PSB. What that'll do is, see, look, once I type in PSB and entered it, it gives you every single shout and every spell and every 75 words that um, the game has. And what that does is gives you here. You go to my magic, go to all. See some of it glitches, but look at this. Like you have no idea. I've never had all this stuff before. All the stuff gives you everything. So, out of that, next I'm going to show you. Now I'll show you COC QA smoke. Now, what this does, it'll teleport you to the only room in Skyrim that has everything in the whole entire game. Each And look in each one of these little frog looking boxes or whatever, it'll tell you every staff. Every soul gem, every enchanted weapon, every standard weapon, all ammo, like arrow wise, DJ arrow, all that stuff. It doesn't give you unlimited, but it'll tell you, like, it'll show all of them, so that kind of stuff. And then there's boxes all over the room that do different things. So, after that's finished, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my quick glitch that I know. It's, um, uh, what is it? I forgot. Hold on. It is, oh, you're going to need to do COC, alright, so we're going to type in this, COC, and let's say I want to go to Riften, I haven't explored Riften yet, hold on, it's glitching, hold up, as soon as I exit, it's, hmm, It'll only teleport you to places you have been so far. Sorry about that. It's not responding. And there we go. It only see, but it doesn't te teleport you exactly in that place. It teleports you just right around. See, Rifton's right there. Not Rifton's white run. There. So next for this demonstration, I'm gonna use. Hmm. One second. Let me go ahead and open my map and go to white run directly, so I can show you. But what you're going to want to do is, there's lots of other things you can choose from, like watch here. See this guard? Now watch this. I can tap on the guard while on the screen, just click on him, like you can click on this rock over here. You can click on him exactly, and you can um, use kill. Now once you click on him, you click kill, you leave, he'll just die. Now the thing is about this, you don't get any, um, you don't get a bounty at all. There's no bounty, there's no risk. That's because no one saw you actually kill him, so they just ignore it. Now, what you're gonna do is also, you, there's a thing where you go kill all, all, that'll kill everyone in your area, but sadly, there's no one here anyway. But it'll just, drop it'll kill everyone except for the children you just can't kill the children which isn't a bad thing but you just can't kill them they're invulnerable so next I'm going to show you TCL now what that does toggle collision mode wait hold on why is that not working? oh crap I have something click make, make sure you take the clicker like this thing make sure this isn't on so you just gotta tap it again TCL now it says collision off. Now when I go forward, wherever I'm aimed, 
it'll go there. So, which that's like normal, but I can walk into anything. And it won't kill me. So pretty much that's it. So and all you have to do is click TCL again and it turns collision on. And you can fly basically. But TGM will toggle God mode. That means when you attack someone, you are invulnerable. You never run out of stamina, health, or magic. And you um you will basically have every dragon shout and you'll be able to use it. So I'm gonna turn that off. Now I can do um, T I M, and that's immortal mode. You have every single dragon shout, every spell, every single thing that is not a item unlocked, and that that'll just and also you you cannot die. You just your health will go down, but when it's once it gets to zero, you still won't die. You just cannot die. So let me turn that back off. Um, and let's say oh here we go. I got a great example for this one. So, you see this place, Breeze Home? Nope, okay. Yeah, Riverwood Trader, this guy, sorry, I'm using my uh, thing, but it says unlock. You see, I have to do it with lockpick, but I can just go on lock and click on the door itself, click enter, unlock door. It still says that, but you just gotta turn and you can open. See, and it doesn't. Give you a bounty or anything. Oh yeah, when I click kill all, it killed this poor guy right here. Poor guy just died. Oh well, who cares? Um, yeah, but next his um, cax right here. I'm not going to press it because it glitches the crap out of my game. What it does is it um finishes every single primary quest in the game, but it takes so long to load, it just glitches the whole game out. Unless you have 16 gigabytes of RAM and a great video card, you're not going to run this game very well on CAX. But what it does is com it completely finishes your whole game, except for the side quests, like all that junk. Um, and then you can also lock the door by clicking on it, and you can set to whatever number you want, or whatever number over 100 will lock it to where it's un 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 unlockable. And we go to TFC, so that makes it to where you cannot like you don't see anything but if you aim at a guard you can click E to to search him and it, it but it doesn't show anything even if you pull your weapons out but you press but you um, left click to go up right click to go down this is basically camera mode see like that so TFC off and it shows you back on and it puts you right back where you were so that so that is sort of good for um doing like machinima movies and stuff like that. Next is TC. Toggle controls must be called in on an active. What this does is it lets you control stuff, like make them move in that junk. I'm not that well at doing this, so I'm just gonna turn it back off. But Turn that back off. Um, now, and you can do move T O Q T, and you can move right at your quest, but you have to know the quest number or something like that, which sucks. Now, um, uh, what's next? All right, so I have a perfect example for this. So you walk over here, you click this, and click resurrect. You gotta click on the white run guard. You click enter, um, you leave, and he's right back up alive. You do that with anybody. Alright, and so watch me follow him real quick. And alright, so I'm gonna click on him again and click sex change. It turns him into a woman. See? But watch if you if you really pay attention, his face is still a man and he talks like a man. But he's he's got the woman's body. Next, um, you can click duplicate all items. Now, if you go into your inventory, it should work. 
No, I don't think it worked. Duplicate all items. No, it didn't work. Well, that one used to work. But you can also set your P set PC fame. And what that does, then you can change it to let's say one or nine eight nine. Normally it works, okay. That doesn't work. But that is all the console commands I know for now. And you can go um online and look up code for them and stuff like that. And the codes will give you the items. But that's pretty much it and please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you guys. You're awesome.